What up, what up, Extreme Gaming Universe? It is your boy, Extreme Gaming here. Bring you guys another Madden 19 defensive tip, guys. Um, <clears throat> first of all, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys comment, like, and subscribe and share the videos for more Madden tip, guys. We're at 429 subs. I've gained about 27 subs in about a week and a half, I believe. So I want to thank you to everybody that, who's been subbing to my channel I greatly appreciate it. I know it's probably because of man and man tips and stuff like that, but I want you guys to check out the rest of my stuff, uh, NHL, my walkthroughs that I've done on some of my games and stuff like that. Just check out everything, guys. I would greatly appreciate it. And like I said, we get to 500 sub, guys. We I'm doing a two $10 gift card giveaways, one for PlayStation 4, one for PS2, and what I'm going to do when I get to the 500 subs, um, <clears throat> when I post up a video, after the 500 subs, you guys are going to comment and like the video. And then you guys are going to tell me you guys subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. And then on a comment section, you're going to say all done. And when I get that, then I'm going to grab everybody that puts on their, everybody that subscribe and put their names in the hat and I'll pick a winner. And then... Um, I draw it out of a out of a hat and pick the winners for both PlayStation and Xbox One, and then I'll tell you guys to send me an email and I'll email you the the code for the gift card for whichever one you choose. All right, so enough of that, guys. So let's go into uh, the three four odd playbook. Uh, mine is a custom playbook, guys. You guys can see I got a lot of a little bit of everything on my defense. So mine is a custom uh, playbook. <clears throat> so we're gonna look at the uh, fire bluff zone, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run it with the running back blocking. So what um, you can do it. Uh, let's go with sticks, but I ran it against like pistol when it came in clean. So what I, you want to do is baseline, spread your linebackers, crash your D-line down, QB contain, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to spy this guy here, rezone this guy for a mid-read and underneath coverage. And he's this guy's pretty much where I want him at. I like to put this guy here maybe, snap the ball. You should get the pressure to come in looping, but there, I mean, under center, these plays are like kind of shaky. Uh, Base line, crash D line, spread my linebackers, QB contain. You can leave it like this at a at a, a five man. I'll hover right here, and you see under center is iffy. So that's why I want to show you what I'm about to show you now. So I'm gonna call a timeout. And then we're going to run it against a shotgun formation. Like I said, we can do pistol. Right, let me show you against pistol real quick because I got it in with. Let's go pistol strong slam. Right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come out here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it because the, running, the tight end is blocking. So you're going to do the same setup. Uh, baseline line, crash D line down. Put this guy in a mirror now. I'm going to put Graham in a spy. For some odd reason, this guy is already under here. So, you snap the ball, you should get B gap pressure. And that time, <clears throat> uh, it got picked up there, but it ain't, like I said, just give it a second here. Uh, baseline. Spread linebackers, crash D-line down, QB can take. Um, mid read this guy here. I like to put this guy like right here. And then snap the ball. You see how he ran into him? Like that is just stupidity right there. <clears throat> I'm so sorry. That is just stupidity there. Like right here, just put him like a 
and then you just want to hover in between here snap the ball and that is the clean look that I'm looking for that B gap right in there so you guys can see that and right here just want to move him like I guess behind him and snap the ball because now he comes in like right clean into that gap you don't want to move him too much because then he'll run into everybody else so you know you're only sending really uh four against like if they were to do this like I just move like I said a tad over nothing really big again now that time he got caught up I don't know why it's, this game is so fucking broken even with the patch fucking EA kill is killing this game and the funny thing is it's just not me guys that is complaining about the game there's a lot of people that are complaining about the game you can forget about problem or dubby or any of those guys complaining about the game but this game has not been fun for the past three years I think 16 I enjoy 16 um a lot and man has not been the same and I think EA caters to these guys that show up on TV playing for money but I guarantee you they was to clean up the fucking game these guys wouldn't be beating the fuck nobody yo like it, it really is I'm sorry to vent but it's the fucking reality yo it is the fucking reality they and the thing is that EA know that they do glitch plays and whatnot and they still don't punish these guys that's what it is because it's play to win with EA, yo. It is play to win when it comes to electronic arts. What they need to do is give up their fucking license to make in football games so EA and other companies can get and make a fucking game. That fucking simple. But you guys can see that the Blitz came in again. Um, I'm going to show you the replay. See how now this time... He comes in. He bumps in a little bit to number 65, but he still gets in. You got the middle of the field covered. Um, you got Brandon Graham playing the hook. You got the hard flat picking up the middle. The guy's going in for, like, it's covered pretty much. It depends on, like, the, the play. You know what I mean? The play that they pick. So, you know, you got your mid read here. Like I said, just go here. QB can take. Like I said, it's baseline, spread your linebackers, crash D-line down, QB contained. Then you can zone this guy here and then underneath coverage. Um, and that is basically it, guys. It's like really the easy setup here. And you just snap the ball and you see that again. He comes in and he bumps into the guy. So hopefully in-game it doesn't, it doesn't do that to you guys. Um... Just a tad, not too much. Snap the ball. And there it goes. It comes and cleans up. This guy here does not even go over there to block. So now let's go with a shotgun formation so you guys can see. It's a shotgun formation real quick. So let's just pick a shotgun formation. Um, Let's go with slants. What the hell? Um... So, like I said, if you know that they got, you want to run this opposite of the running back. So, as you see, so, um, I said baseline, spread linebackers, crash, D-line down, QB contained. And then that is it, guys. That's pretty much it. And then, like I said, just come here. And then you should get B-gap pressure right there. Mixing re reacts really late to it. So, you know, I'm going to try here. Baseline, line, spread line backers, crash. And put this guy here. And I'm just going to put him here. So I'm going to move him a dash. Over. I'm just trying to see. And then I'm going to bring this guy down. here, Just to hover, just to see what I can get. See, that time he didn't move, but if they get a block shed, you know, you should be able to get in there for it to, uh, the sack. But you guys can see how he reacted kind of late at the end there. So, again, baseline, 
spread your linebackers, crash D-line down, QB contain, and then rezone these two guys here. Uh, like I said, you want to move them behind this guy, the DN here. And you don't have to hold the LT or nothing. Just put them there, and you guys will see that, bam, it comes in untouched through that B-gap, guys. So I'm sorry about the ranting. The, the rant that I was doing earlier about EA, but this game is really literally broken. Um, like I said, I've played uh, about, I'm 11 and 10 on, on ranked games, but a bunch of games I lost by three and some of the dumbest things I've seen in this game that kind of cost me um, where like the some animations and stuff like that is just bullshit. So, I mean... Like I said, I'm not next year going to buy the Hall of Fame edition. The only reason I buy the Hall of Fame edition is to get it a couple days early to bring out videos and stuff like that. But I think next year I'm going to wait because it, EA is just way far behind on the ball when it comes to this game. And it is so frustrating. Like, I've been playing Madden since the damn Sega Genesis days. And they're more fun than this. Like, I'm telling you, the Sega Genesis Madden... And the Super Nintendo, um, Sega Genesis, um, um, Super Nintendo Man is way better than the crap that I'm playing now. And I'd rather sit there and have a tournament on Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis on Man than play this bullshit here. But like I said, I'll bring you guys the videos so you guys can get defensive tip, offensive tips. I'm going to end up doing a breakdown of the Phillies um, playbook. Like I said, I did do an ebook. I was going to put up for four ninety nine, um, $5, but I'm not even going to go there. As long as you guys subscribe to the channel and help my channel grow, I'll just give it out for free. And um, I'm going to do that breakdown um, maybe later on tonight. It depends on how I'm feeling. Uh, so, But hopefully you guys enjoy this blitz. Make sure, like I said, guys, I'm sorry about the rant and the raven about this game. But comment, like, subscribe for more Madden 19 tips, guys. Thank you. God bless everybody. Enjoy the blitz.